Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to completely remove or disable Copilot from running on Windows 11. So basically, the Copilot is a cloud based artificial intelligence tool that sort of replaces Cortana's functionality in earlier versions of Windows 10 and Windows 11. So if you want to just turn that off in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do so. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best result, check back with registry editor, right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. And then you also want to set export range to all. Save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now that that is done, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start by double clicking on the HK current user folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for policies. Go ahead and double click on that. Should be a Microsoft folder in here. Double click on it. And there should be a Windows folder. Double click on that one as well. If you need to take note of our file path, you should see it up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different sub key that we've gone under to get to this point. So now that we have the Windows folder selected, right click on it and select new. Select key. Name this key Windows Copilot. Exactly how you see it on my screen and hit enter. It should all be one word here. So again, Windows Copilot. And then on the right panel, you want to right click in a blank area. Select new and then select the word 32 bit value. Name this value turn off Windows Copilot. First letter of each word should be capitalized. No spaces in between any of these words in here. There's no hyphen between co and pilot. It's all one word here. And then just hit enter. Now that you've done that, double click on it. And you want to set the value data to the numerical value of one. Base should remain hexadecimal and select OK. And once you're done with that, go ahead and close out of the registry editor. And you will want to restart your computer in order for the change to take effect. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.